how do you mill acrylic on a CNC router? If that's your question, then this video is your answer. I'll tell you which bits to use, the right spindle speed and the proper feed rate. And of course, I'll give you a few useful tips. This video will be divided into three parts. First, we'll briefly discuss acrylic itself and then separately go through cutting and engraving. Along the way, we'll make a desk lamp to demonstrate both types of work. This is Virmer, my name is David. Don't forget to check your subscription to the channel and let's get started. What is acrylic? First, let's briefly describe acrylic. It's a durable material similar to glass, but unlike glass, it doesn't break or shatter. There are two types of acrylic, cast and extruded. The first is stronger and more heat resistant than the second one, making it preferable for CNC work. It's a plastic, so it can melt and burn. Many of its machining characteristics are defined by this fact. So, how do you work with it? There are two main operations you can perform with a CNC router, cutting and engraving. We'll demonstrate both in our project. By the way, we'll leave the design file for you in the description. And don't forget to give us a like for that. Engraving. For this operation, you'll need either V-bits, engraving bits with the 6 or 30 degrees, or a spring-loaded diamond drag bit. Spindle speed 6000-9000 RPM, feed rate 3000 mm per minute. Depth of cut. This depends on how deep you want the engraving to be. Cutting direction. You can choose a linear pattern or go from the center to the edge. This can give the engraving a very interesting effect. Cutting. Special bits for plastics are used to process acrylic, like these single flute and sharp, or all flute bits. It's also important that it's an upcut bit. This will ensure that all the chips are pulled up and out, preventing them from accumulating inside and melting. Recommended settings. Spindle speed, 6,000-9,000 RPM. Feed rate, 3,000 mm a minute. Depth of cut. This depends on the bit. For a 3 mm bit, you can cut 1, 2 mm per pass. For a 5, 6 mm bit, you can cut 4, 5 mm per pass. Cutting direction. Climb parallel flow. Tips. You can achieve a clean edge in several ways, with a specific bit, for example, by cutting with water using a coolant system or water mixed with dish soap. This will make the edge transparent. Important, monitor the condition of the bead. If you use a chip sticking to it, stop the operation. This situation indicates that some settings are incorrect or that the bead might have become dull. Conclusion. So, the main points are use a single flute and sharp bits for cutting acrylic or all flute bits. It's important that it's an up cut bit. Spindle speed and feed rate for cutting and engraving acrylics should be within these ranges. Spindle speed 6000, 9000 RPM. Feed rate 3000 mm a minute. Keep an eye on the condition of the bit and do not leave the machine unattended while it's working. We hope this video helps you achieve high quality cuts and engravings on acrylic. Leave a comment if you have any questions and let us know which other materials you'd like us to cover. This is the Vermeer channel, I am David. Subscribe, like and see you in the next video.